What pickleball paddle hits the ball the fastest? Pew, 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 pew. What? I'm shooting pickleball lasers. What's up guys? Ilya and John here with Pickleball Mafia and today we're talking all things speed. And we'll be giving away the paddle that we find hits the pickleball the fastest. I always see and hear people talk about what is the best paddle to get. And I hear the most bizarre things. Like blanket statements that thin paddles have more power and thicker paddles are only made for touch. Or people say this paddle has so much pop but in reality, that might be deceptive. Yeah, because feel is not always the best unit of measure. Radar guns are. The best part is, is the person always screaming, this is the best paddle ever, is usually the one that then busts out their own code for a discount. And I'm like, wait, are you getting kickbacks from this? Like, this is such a biased perspective. But today we're gonna look at one aspect in particular, and that is speed. Rather than just giving our opinions, we want to look at the data. We took 15 of the top paddles in the market and had players from a 3-0 range all the way up to a pro level range and hit basket after basket after basket. Yeah, I said basket after basket. Of baskets. Uh, really? <laughs> I said basket after basket of baskets? Yeah, yeah. Made a basket after baskets of balls and we clocked the speed to see what paddle produced the highest speed. We did this on the serve with zero spin on the ball and we make sure only to count the ones that hit in. And then it kind of evolved from there. So here's what we filmed the other day. We just tried out 15 different paddles and measured the speed with a radar gun. We're gonna go back inside and check out that data and interpret it. But since we're still out here, we're gonna look at the elongated versus the regular versions of these six paddles. And we're gonna take these paddles specifically and test them out so we have very accurate data for you guys. Let's go. He, uh, he nails the let's go line every single time. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. So since we're talking all things speed, we came up with another theory. And that was when we were testing out the speed off these paddles, we found that our fastest serves were actually going long, right? So we had, uh, actually Illa came up with this theory. You wanna take it? Yeah, we actually would go more from corner to corner. So there's a little bit more distance you can cover in the court and it allows you to hit a lot more speed. Yeah, but you also have to consider that the further the distance is, the more time the opponent has to react. So that can also factor in and counteract the speed you get from serving corner to corner. Let's see. Let's do it! <laughs> so much! Alright guys, so now we have another theory that we want to test out and actually Shay came up with this one. Yeah, so we also want to test out drives. We've only done serves up to this point. So we're gonna bust out the pickleball machine and have it give us a consistent feed that we can then test. Up until now, we've only tested the speed based of our serve, and we wanna change it right now to having a momentum coming towards us. So when the ball is moving, we can test the core a lot better and hit through the ball and see how much speed we can generate. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a great test for the quality of the paddle for the well-rounded game of pickleball, which is not just the serve, right? All right, let's do it. Let's get into it. Again, I'm off the squad. I'm on this mafia. Okay, so the balls coming out of the machine was not consistent data, so we're just gonna throw that out. Power has been giving a bad name in the sport of pickleball, where terms use as banger in a negative context. No, speed is a great weapon. We're seeing it being used more and more in the game of pickleball at even the highest levels, and we're seeing it in third shot drives while the opponent is still moving and we're seeing it being used a lot in speed ups. We found that increasing the distance, so hitting more at a diagonal angle, 
was not really worth the risk for the increase of speed. Yeah, and we found that the elongated paddles actually provided two to three miles an hour on average versus the same paddle in the standard chase. And finally, we discovered that the Engage Pursuit MX60 was the paddle that created the most constant speed among the three O's all the way up to the pro players. And we'll be giving one of those paddles away to whoever simply likes this video, subscribes to the channel, and comments below with what ball they think will fly off the paddle the fastest. And this will be uncovered in the next video where we deep dive into the competitive ball and see what are the differences between the different competition balls and which ones plays the best. And if you want to find out what pickleball is best for you, check out our previous video right here. Until next time. See you guys. Let's go. <laughs>